What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me, your host, Bell on the right. And today we're continuing our journey into Darksiders 2 Death and Live Edition. <clears throat> the last time we left off, uh, basically, with me getting my ass kicked by the Archon above. So I am going to go back downstairs and get some more healing uh, items <clears throat> so that we can have a better chance against them. And so I'm just going to do that right quick. Um, let me see if I can actually land down here. Oof. There is a kill box. I think I gotta manually go down. That worked actually. Okay, now we gotta take the elevator. <clears throat> see, I was supposed to actually do this stuff off camera, but I had a pretty busy day today. Um, so I didn't get to play it. I did, what I did today was I tested out um, some streaming, some live streaming, and uh, I did play the Final Fantasy VII demo, which uh, that went pretty well. Um, the thing I gotta learn how to do next is to um, save the uh, save the video, save the live stream. <clears throat> and once I do that, I'll be able to do more, play a few more games on the channel games I wouldn't normally play because it requires um, actually there's Nathaniel <clears throat> going way too far that's close I've decided there is more I could sell you oh how about that he's selling us better stuff now at least he says he is it looks like he is actually this stuff's really good <clears throat> All right, we might come back to him. We're going to have to anyway to get his gear. Anything good here? I mean, for his mission, then we'll, we'll get his gear also. I'm actually going to max out on the this light. time. Okay. So this episode might be a little short. I just wanted to um, get something quick done. It's pretty late tonight, um, and I gotta work pretty early. But I did want to hurry up and get an episode um, out there uh, because it is nice and quiet, except for the thunderstorm outside. You guys might hear some of that. Other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> I always get confused on the second level. Yeah, but uh, I do plan on playing some other games on the channel. Uh, Seven Remake was um, the start of it. The uh, demo, I should say. And then I'll be able to actually finish up some games I started not too long ago. the key from the questions they asked and from you only I may bear the key that's still pretty dope saying flying What's not dope is this battle. I really don't like this battle. Destroy you. So I gotta figure out how this battle works again.
I would even say this is going pretty good. This is the part I guess going to be to me. Again, damage, I mean, it's warm. Switch to my grapple for this fight. I like using my gun. That's my main problem here. But he can be hurt when he's up there. Try to maximize the damage. But doing this a couple of times, getting up there. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> I'm doing everything wrong. I'm doing everything wrong. I wonder if you hit that stuff back. I should be able to do more though. Eventually, I'll pop a shell or something. I'm gonna switch weapons. Gonna switch weapons. I wanna do more damage. Okay, I'm feeling better about this. Single hit damage. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting him for the next hour like this. There we go. Hell yeah. 
Thank good. Okay. This battle probably isn't as bad as I thought. It's hard to see sometimes. Stronger. That's fine. You guys have survived a little bit longer. Back. What the hell is this shit? I'm probably gonna finish this fight with this. Finish 
I didn't notice before he grew his wings back with corruption. It's my first time noticing that. Ghoul's Tomb and the Clips, the Clip Wings achievement. Let's check that out. Defeat Archon, very rare. Betrayed by the Lord of Bones, Arguil was overthrown from his kingdom. His realm was cast from the kingdom of the dead, separating him from his source of power. Its location has remained lost until now. Access this content from additional campaigns menu, uh, additional campaigns on the main menu. And we got the Fletcher's Crow Hammer, the hammer of a champion from long ago. His power echoed through the ring, uh, through the ring of his dark steel. Cast during the ascension of the, his dark arts, the tale is said um, that his champion took the form of a crow, never to be seen again. And we got the Angel Key, the holy key will grant the entrance into the Well of Souls. This holy key. <clears throat> so it's half of what we need and they really should have come up with more creative ways to get you off of these uh, places than fast travel the only way to get off of here is actually to fast travel <clears throat> there's no organic way to leave so I think to some degree Darksiders 2 is probably rushed maybe <clears throat> okay um, that went pretty good, I would say. All the things considered, it could have went better. All the things considered, it went pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so our next step is we're going to go to, there's the crucible. We're going to go to, uh, Deadlands, and we're gonna get that um, thing for Nathaniel. And what are we doing for Nathaniel? The mysteries behind the names on here. So we're gonna do that for Nathaniel before we proceed. I have the angel key. Then your task nears its end. I can open the way, Death. But you must find the other key. The demon key? Yes. Tread lightly. 
There is not that way but shadow. All right, we'll be doing that pretty soon. But for now, we're gonna go to um, gonna go to. <clears throat> Oh, that's the demon way. We aren't going to the demon way just yet. We're going to first go back to the kingdom of the dead. Okay, and before I do that, I just want to see if the um, story changed up a little bit. So let me check that out. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to go back to the main menu. This has been the journey so far. In the Citadel, knowledge recorded, secrets revealed, corruption destroyed. It was the Archon, the scribe told the horsemen. And it was the Archon, on the end of Death's sword. That's pretty cool. Alright, yeah, just wanted to, um... Make sure we saw that. Okay, so Nathaniel wanted us specifically one more time. It's very easy to forget what Nathaniel wanted us to do here. And we'll actually take on the deposed king again too. I think we can actually beat him this time. I think we're a high enough level. Okay, we just need to go to the Chancellors, let's go ahead and fast travel to the Eternal Throne. All right, let's talk to the Chancellor. He should be here. We got Ostagoth there too. Let's see if Ostagoth has anything new to say. Nope. Nothing new from Ostagoth. Death. It's always such a pleasure. Let's get this over with before I do something we both regret. <laughs> the soul you seek never passed through this court. You're certain? Oh, yes. I would have relished receiving a soul of this magnitude in our kingdom. I don't recognize the name on the scroll. It is one more ancient than the Nephilim, hmm. belonging to a person you are quite familiar with. But alas, he now bears another name. Lightning. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the pleasure in that? Don't have time for this. It is a pity you are so ill-tempered. There is much we could do for one another. And the reward will be considerable. So I'm thinking he's talking about Absalom. That's who comes to mind first, but maybe there's somebody else. You need only investigate rumors that spread even now through the plains of the dead. Of a labyrinth most ancient, stealing unwary souls from our dread lord. You mean the Arbiter's name? This is not just about mazes. The soul arbiter is an enemy of the throne. Long thought vanquished. Before he disappeared, he took something the king is eager to possess. No doubt, this maze guards it. Find the soul arbiter and return his prize. All right, that's something we could do. You shouldn't listen to gossip. Find the Arbiter's maze, return to me, and I won't have to. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get to it. That'll probably be something we do next. He doesn't talk to us anymore. Oh, these guys look just like his, uh... Same body type as his previous guards, or his uh, his dead lords. All right. Okay, so next we're actually gonna go ahead and take on the deposed king Argul. So let's go ahead and do that. It 
our goal, of course, is at the lair of the deposed king. Um, just to show you guys, make sure you guys can get here. Um, it's going to be right here. Right next to the eternal throne. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, honestly, we can go back to the Forge Lands to get um, a ton of new treasures because we got all these new powers. So if we go to the Forge Lands, we can basically get all the powers that are there. We have everything we need to get every power up there. Power up item, whatever you want to call it. All the secrets. I believe this is how we get to the deposed king, right? Yeah, yep. We are here. This ought to go much better. I should have checked my items though before I uh, before I came here, because I think we're kind of full. We're getting close. Oh, this is an another one of those weapons you can upgrade. Maybe, just maybe, I should have brought some healing items. Maybe that would have been nice. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> yeah, probably should have brought some healing items. But I think we'll be okay. Because the Pose King isn't that hard. not to get caught. fucked up really bad that's the only thing you can't get hit once in this fight because he will he will take you out Distance. And we're gonna summon ghouls. Keep our distance and summon ghouls. That's all we're gonna do. Keep our distance. Now we have to bait him out. Come on, the 
hitbox. The hitbox. Oh. <sighs> that move has quite a hitbox on it. <clears throat> I think we'll be fine though. That didn't work out too well. Come on, dude. dude, dude, dude. at least go get some healing items okay so the one thing I think we need to do is probably emphasize getting our health to max over generating wrath I shouldn't be getting hit period that's true but I believe getting health back is going to be top priority for this one Although I might change it up completely. I'm not be on the same side as him. Seriously, god damn. Dodge to the side, you gotta dodge through him. 
You gotta dash through him when he does that. I thought the Omega Blades might give me a weird advantage, but they were a little too weak. I'm gonna try out the uh, Fist of Elazar. Stronger. Hmm, defense strength. Maybe that. Hmm, this should actually be pretty good for us, I think. stuck on it for some reason. It's actually not too bad. It's actually really, really good. Fucking done. Jeez. Argul the deposed king forced this mace to wield in battle against his most hated enemies. Foes. <laughs> the scepter holds within it the essence of Argul's cold fury and freezes the blood of his victims with every strike. Oh, uh, that's so. I don't believe that's the last time we fight him either. I think we gotta fight him in the crucible as well, if I remember correctly. 
That sucked. It's really weak, though. Might as well feed this my older stuff. Our next destination is Nathaniel, so we'll be going there next. All right, go ahead and find Nathaniel. And I do apologize, um, this episode is a little bit weird. <laughs> Just kind of doing extra stuff. <clears throat> and I'm not really talking a lot either. I guess we can just fast travel, but. <clears throat> Wanted to actually get a chance to talk to you guys for a bit. I was concentrating during that uh, Argul fight. Trying to make sure not to get hit. That touch of death uh, Macy got is quite a problem. Alright, so I'm thinking there's going to be some more Book of the Dead pages at the, uh, the Shadow's Edge. And we're going to actually go there next episode. I'm, I'm actually going to end this episode. I um, guess I'll travel back to the Tree of Life. And yeah, we'll end it there. But for now, I just wanted to uh, confirm with Nathaniel. Confirm and confer with Nathaniel. I didn't know it was this far away. It was pretty far. Probably should have just fast traveled. Yeah, the scope of this game is kind of insane when you think about it. Like how big these areas were. Um, they probably could have filled them with more stuff to do. But in terms of collectibles, you, you do get quite a bit. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this in. Your friend has not passed through the land of the dead. But if he yet lives... No. I dare not inform my fellow angels until I have the full truth. Among the makers of the Forge Lands is a blind seer of great power. Hmm. Go to her death. She will know what has become of the one who was dead, yet lives. Is he talking about Abaddon? I have Perhaps. everything an angel needs. As for you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and finish this mission off. We might as well. All right, be right back. Okay, so I cut out a lot of the fast travel for you guys, um, but it really is insane how much they have you teleporting. <clears throat> it's kind of very annoying. To be perfectly blunt. You have something for me. This soul, it still lives. But it has changed. 
In the angel tongue, it is called Vovin, hmm. dragon. What do the demons call it? They call him Lord. A member of the Hell Girls oh. during the Dark Legion? So it would appear. Creator, help us. Oh, dragon, Vovin. It is, uh, Abaddon. There are new talismans for you to browse. Destroyer. Wow. Horsemen, good luck. Now, this mission sucks. Because the whole mission is just you teleporting from world to world. So you're basically just looking at loading screens for, for the most part. I think for a game like this, you don't really need missions like that. So I think the best way around this little dilemma of having to deliver these messages to different people from different um, planes of existence is either to teleport you directly there, so you only have to endure maybe one loading screen. Either do that or put them closer to the tree of life once you go to each of those worlds. Again, one loading screen. Because um, going there and coming back is like upwards of three loading screens because I have to go to the place, fast travel exactly to where they are when I'm at that place, and then fast travel back, and then do it all over again, cause, you know, you have to do it multiple times. Well, what have you learned? Your friend serves the shadow. Impossible. Then the Archon's visions, the Hellguard, leave me, horseman. I must... Consider what to do next. Cryptic. And my reward? Would that you had never earned it. <laughs> never told me who it was you sought. His name was on the scroll. To plainly see. Ah, oh, shit. angels take on many names, and that one was beyond my memory. What is your friend called now? I should look at the scroll. You knew him as Abaddon. But he has taken another name. One cursed on Earth. Destroyer. Damn, I should have looked at the fucking scroll. <sighs> That'll be for a future playthrough, I guess. Maybe we still have it. Not all of heaven is against you. Just enough to be worried. Alright, get away from him. <laughs> uh, let's see if we got that scroll still. We do not, unfortunately. Uh, sorry about that. I wish I did take a look at that scroll before. Um, before we got rid of it, but it is what it is. I'll just have to do it next time. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys for checking this episode out. Um, the one thing that I won't do in the future, or at least I'll try not to, is record this late at night because obviously I am fatigued somehow um even though i took a nice long nap earlier but i am definitely fatigued and i think it's affecting my commentary but anyways um appreciate you guys for watching I want you guys to take care Till next time guys peace